I want to say, and to all the women here, to just take five minutes, ten minutes, put your phone somewhere, and think about the dream of your life. What do you dream for your life? And that's what I did 30 years ago, and it was very difficult, because I had three children. But then I sat and I thought, I want to become an artist, and it was impossible. Because I couldn't even draw. Here I'm standing with my sway sway dress and I feel proud that I'm a woman in this country. Um, so my inspiration in my work is that my work talks about belonging and identity. So it's about how I find belonging and unbelonging at the same time because my parents are from Malawi and they resided in South Africa, so I grew up in South Africa. So I've struggled with this idea of finding my own identity within being South African and Malawian at the same time. So my work is about bridging, the, bridging between the past and the now, and also finding myself within shared identities and shared cultures of nations. Like how do we find relations with one another as individuals? And I grew up within a sub in a saloon environment where my mom owns the saloon and I'm shown, I'm experiencing what it means to have different cultures and identities in one place within 
other women that are South African, that are, that are African at the same time. So I find belonging with being South African and belonging at the same time. I was born a girl. It showcases the artworks of renowned Finnish artists that you listened to a moment ago, Minna Pitarena. It highlights this I was born a girl theme, the role of women around the world who make a difference through the discipline of art and culture. I'm really thrilled that at this exhibition we will unveil the portrait, as has been said, of someone that I regard as an iconic South African woman whose portrait was painted especially for this occasion. This iconic South African is our former First Lady, Madame Zanele Mbeki, who is herself a globally recognized icon, who continues to work for the empowerment, the development, and the emancipation of women. Her contributions are diverse and significant, spanning from the time of the freedom struggle for the liberation of our country to the present time in leadership of the Zanel Mbeki Development Trust and her service as patron of the International Women's Forum South Africa and has been mentioned the wonderful Dialogue Forum that does absolutely important work. As women, we must take inspiration from icons such as this one, who continue to play an active role in addressing the challenges that girls and women encounter daily. I think far too often when we talk about women, we focus on the struggles of women on days such as the one of International Women's Day. But I do think that it is important to give attention to the difficult circumstances of women living in regions and countries in conflict as well. So I think we should not just talk about our own perhaps national or domestic context. It's vital that we also recognize that women in many different parts of the world are victims of civil conflict, of inter-country inter violence, of domestic violence within their homes, that we have a number of shared experiences as women, and in fact, through women's solidarity, on days such as this one, and throughout the year, we can work together to overcome these problems. Think today of the women of Palestine who cannot get food for their children, who do not have water, who do not have fuel, who are denied humanitarian aid that is available at a border close to them, but they can't access it. Think today of the women of Sudan caught up in a conflict that is inexplicable and for which no one can really explain the purpose except the desire for control and power. Think of the women of Chad who are denied food because humanitarian aid can no longer come in since Sudan is at war. And the path to aid to Chad is through Sudan. Think of all the intractable and inhumane challenges that are confronted by women and girls in so many parts of the world. But think too of those women, that I spoke of last week, who is a leading global scientist, a great South African. Think of those young women who've established their own enterprises. Think of those young women who are leading in the medical field. So think of women in all the facets that are women. I was born a girl, and I have many things, and that's what we should remember about women. I hope that part of what we will do as we think about being born a girl is that we'll try and think about how we might contribute 
to some of these struggles for survival, to ensuring that everybody enjoys basic human rights. We talk of human rights as being universal, and yet they apply to some and not to all. We must fight and strive to ensure that they become universal. Think of those who lose their lives trying to protect their children. I think let us, as we mark International Women's Day, agree that from today we will take just one step toward making a difference in the life of just one woman every day. I also believe that it is possible for each one of us to make the effort to ensure equality for women. I believe that collectively, in one voice, we can inspire a world of inclusion. So for these International Women's Day uh, days, let us remember that all that we have to do is ensure that all that is espoused and hoped for through celebrating International Women's Day, all of that belongs to everyone, everywhere. If we make that happen, we will have changed the world. Thank you, dear Mama 